Richard Samuel Attenborough, Baron Attenborough, the 29th of August 1923 to the 24th of August 2014, was an English actor, filmmaker, entrepreneur, and politician. He was the president of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art (RADA) and the British Academy of Film and Television Arts (BAFTA). Attenborough joined the Royal Air Force during World War II and served in the film unit. He went on several bombing raids over Europe and filmed action from the rear gunner's position. He was the older brother of Sir David Attenborough, a naturalist, documenter, and broadcaster, and John Attenborough, an executive at Alfa Romeo. He was married to actress Sheila Sim from 1945 until his death. As a film director and producer, Attenborough won two Academy Awards for Gandhi in 1983, receiving awards for Best Picture and Best Director. The BFI ranked Gandhi the 34th greatest British film of the 20th century. He also won four BAFTA Awards and four Golden Globe Awards. As an actor, he is perhaps best known for his roles in Brighton Rock, The Great Escape, Ten Rillington Place, The Sand Pebbles, Miracle on 34th Street 1994, and Jurassic Park. <laughs> Early life Attenborough was born on 29 August 1923 in Cambridge, the eldest of three sons of Mary Attenborough nay Clegg, a founding member of the Marriage Guidance Council, and Frederick Levi Attenborough, a scholar and academic administrator who was a fellow at Emmanuel College, Cambridge, and wrote a standard text on Anglo-Saxon law. Attenborough was educated at Wygaston Grammar School for Boys in Leicester and studied at RADA. In September 1939, the Attenboroughs took in two German Jewish refugee girls, Helga and Irene Bayok, aged 9 and 11 respectively, who lived with them in College House and were adopted by the family after the war when it was discovered that their parents had been killed. The sisters moved to the United States in the 1950s and lived with an uncle, where they married and took American citizenship. Irene died in 1992 and Helga in 2005. During World War II, Attenborough served in the Royal Air Force. After initial pilot training he was seconded to the newly formed Royal Air Force Film Production Unit at Pinewood Studios, under the command of Flight Lieutenant John Bolting whose brother Peter Coates would later direct Attenborough in the play The Mousetrap where he appeared with Edward G. Robinson in the propaganda film Journey Together 1943. He then volunteered to fly with the film unit and after further training, where he sustained permanent ear damage, qualified as a sergeant, flying on several missions over Europe filming from the rear gunner's position to record the outcome of RAF bomber command sorties. <laughs> Acting career Attenborough's acting career started on stage and he appeared in shows at Leicester's Little Theatre, Dover Street, prior to his going to RADA, where he remained patron until his death. Attenborough's first major credited role was provided in Brian Desmond Hurst's The Hundred Pound Window 1944, playing Tommy Draper who helps rescue his accountant father who has taken a wrong turn in life. Attenborough's film career had, however, began in 1942 in an uncredited role as a sailor deserting his post under fire in the Noel Coward, David Lean production in which we serve his name and character were omitted from the original release print credits, a role that helped type cast him for many years as a spiv, or coward, in films like London Belongs to Me 1948, Morning Departure 1950, and his breakthrough role as Pinky Brown in John Bolting's film adaptation of Graham Greene's novel Brighton Rock 47, a part that he had previously played to great acclaim at the Garrick Theatre in 1942. In 1949, exhibitors voted him the sixth most popular British actor at the box office. Early in his stage career, Attenborough starred in the West End production of Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, which went on to become the world's longest running stage production. Both he and his wife were among the original cast members of the production, which opened in 1952 at the Ambassadors Theatre and as of 2014 is still running at the St. Martin's Theatre. They took a 10% profit participation in the production, which was paid for out of their combined weekly salary. It proved to be the wisest business decision I've ever made. But foolishly I sold some of my share to open a short-lived Mayfair restaurant called The Little Elephant and later still, disposed of the remainder in order to keep Gandhi afloat." 
Attenborough worked prolifically in British films for the next 30 years, including in the 1950s, appearing in several successful comedies for John and Roy Bolting, such as Private's Progress and I'm All Right Jack In 1963, he appeared alongside Steve McQueen and James Garner in The Great Escape as RAF Squadron leader Roger Bartlett, Big X, the head of the Escape Committee, based on the real-life exploits of Roger Bushel. It was his first appearance in a major Hollywood film blockbuster and his most successful film thus far. During the 1960s, he expanded his range of character roles in films such as Seance on a Wet Afternoon and Guns at Batasi for which he won the BAFTA Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of the Regimental Sergeant Major RSM. In 1965 he played Lou Moran opposite James Stewart in The Flight of the Phoenix and in 1967 and 1968, he won back-to-back -back Golden Globe Awards in the category of Best Supporting Actor, the first time for The Sand Pebbles, again co-starring Steve McQueen, and the second time for Dr. Doolittle starring Rex Harrison. He won the 1967 Best Supporting Actor Award for The Sand Pebbles. His portrayal of the serial killer John Christie in Ten Rillington Place 1971 garnered excellent reviews. In 1977, he played the ruthless General Outram, again to great acclaim, in the Indian director Satyajit Ray's period piece The Chess Players. He took no acting roles following his appearance in Otto Preminger's version of The Human Factor 1979 until his appearance as John Hammond in Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park 1993 and the film's sequel, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 1997. He starred in the remake of Miracle on 34th Street 1994 as Kris Kringle. Later he made occasional appearances in supporting roles, including as Sir William Cecil in the historical drama Elizabeth 1998, Jacob in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and as the narrator in the film adaptation of Spike Milligan's comedy book Pukun 2002, he made his only appearance in a film adaptation of Shakespeare when he played the English ambassador who announces that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead at the end of Kenneth Branagh's Hamlet 1996. Topic: <laughs> Producer and director. In the late 1950s, Attenborough formed a production company, Beaver Films, with Brian Forbes and began to build a profile as a producer on projects including The League of Gentlemen 1959, The Angry Silence 1960, and Whistle Down the Wind 1961, appearing in the cast of the first two films. His performance in The Angry Silence earned him his first nomination for a BAFTA. Seance on a Wet Afternoon won him his first BAFTA award. His feature film directorial debut was the all-star screen version of the hit musical Oh! What a Lovely War 1969, after which his acting appearances became sporadic as he concentrated more on directing and producing. He later directed two epic period films, Young Winston 1972, based on the early life of Winston Churchill, and A Bridge Too Far 1977, an all-star account of Operation Market Garden in World War II. He won the 1982 Academy Award for Best Director for his historical epic Gandhi, and as the film's producer, the Academy Award for Best Picture, the same film garnered two Golden Globes, this time for Best Director and Best Foreign Film, in 1983. He had been attempting to get the project made for 18 years. He directed the screen version of the musical A Chorus Line 1985 and the anti-apartheid drama Cry Freedom 1987. He was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Director for both films. His later films as director and producer include Chaplin 1992, starring Robert Downey Jr. as Charlie Chaplin and Shadowlands 1993, based on the relationship between C.S. Lewis and Joy Gresham. The star of the latter was Anthony Hopkins, who had appeared in four previous films for Attenborough: Young Winston, A Bridge Too Far, Magic, and Chaplin. Between 2006 and 2007, he spent time in Belfast, working on his last film as director and producer, Closing the Ring, a love story set in Belfast during World War II, and starring Shirley MacLaine, Christopher Plummer and Pete Postlethwaite. Despite maintaining an acting career alongside his directorial roles, Attenborough never directed himself save for an uncredited cameo appearance in A Bridge Too Far. Later projects 
After 33 years of dedicated service as president of the Muscular Dystrophy Campaign, Attenborough became the charity's honorary life president in 2004. In 2012, the charity, which leads the fight against muscle wasting conditions in the UK, established the Richard Attenborough Fellowship Fund to honour his lifelong commitment to the charity, and to ensure the future of clinical research and training at leading UK neuromuscular centres. Attenborough was also the patron of the United World Colleges movement, whereby he contributed to the colleges that are part of the organisation. He was a frequent visitor to the Waterford Kamschlaba United World College of Southern Africa. UWCSA. With his wife, they founded the Richard and Sheila Attenborough Visual Arts Centre. He founded the Jane Holland Creative Centre for Learning at Waterford Kamschlaba in Swaziland in memory of his daughter who died in the tsunami on 26 December 2004. He was a longtime advocate of education that does not judge upon colour, race, creed or religion. His attachment to Waterford was his passion for non-racial education, which were the grounds on which Waterford Kamschlaba was founded. Waterford was one of his inspirations for directing the film Cry Freedom, based on the life of Steve Biko. He founded the Richard Attenborough Arts Centre on the Leicester University campus in 1997, specifically designed to provide access for the disabled, in particular as practitioners. He was elected to the post of Chancellor of the University of Sussex on 20 March 1998, replacing the Duke of Richmond and Gordon. He stood down as Chancellor of the University following graduation in July 2008. A lifelong supporter of Chelsea Football Club, Attenborough served as a director of the club from 1969 to 1982 and between 1993 and 2008 held the honorary position of Life Vice President. On 30 November 2008 he was honoured with the title of Life President at the club's stadium, Stamford Bridge. He was also head of the consortium Dragon International Film Studios, which was constructing a film and television studio complex in Lanelid, Wales, nicknamed Valleywood. In March 2008, the project was placed into administration with debts of £15 million and was considered for sale of the assets in 2011. A mooted long term lease to Fox 21 fell through in 2015, though the facilities continue to be used for filmmaking. He had a lifelong ambition to make a film about his hero, the political theorist and revolutionary Thomas Paine, whom he called, one of the finest men that ever lived. He said in an interview in 2006 that, I could understand him. He wrote in simple English. I found all his aspirations, the rights of women, the health service, universal education. Everything you can think of that we want is in rights of man or the age of reason or common sense. He could not secure the funding to do so. The website, A Gift for Dickey, was launched by two filmmakers from Luton in June 2008 with the aim of raising £40 million in 400 days to help him make the film, but the target was not met and the money that had been raised was refunded. <laughs> Personal life Attenborough's father was the principal of University College, Leicester, now the city's university. This resulted in a long association with the university, with Attenborough becoming a patron. The university's Embrace Arts at the Raw Center, which opened in 1997 is named in his honor. He had two younger brothers, naturalist and broadcaster David, and John died 2012, who had made a career in the motor trade. Attenborough married actress Sheila Sim in Kensington on the 22nd of January 1945. From 1949 until October 2012 they lived in Old Friars on Richmond Green in London. In the 1940s, he was asked to improve his physical condition for his role as Pinky in Brighton Rock. He was asked to train with Chelsea Football Club for a fortnight, subsequently becoming good friends with those at the club. He went on to become a director during the 1970s, helping to prevent the club losing its home ground by holding on to his club shares and donating them, worth over £950,000 to Chelsea. In 2008, Attenborough was appointed life president of Chelsea Football Club. On the 26th of December 2004, the couple's elder daughter, Jane Holland, the 30th of September 1955 to the 26th of December 2004, along with her mother-in-law, Audrey Holland, 81, and Attenborough's 15-year-old granddaughter, Lucy, were killed when a tsunami caused by the Indian Ocean earthquake struck Khao Lok, Thailand, where they were on holiday. A service was held on the 8th of March 2005, and Attenborough read a lesson at the National Memorial Service on of May 2005. 
his grandson Samuel Holland, who survived the tsunami uninjured, and granddaughter Alice Holland, who suffered severe leg injuries, also read in the service. A commemorative plaque was placed in the floor of St. Mary Magdalene's Parish Church in Richmond. Attenborough later described the Boxing Day of 2004 as, "...the worst day of my life." Attenborough had two other children, Michael born of February 1950 and Charlotte born the 29th of June 1959. Michael is a theater director formerly the deputy artistic director of the RSC and artistic director of the Almeida Theater in London and has been married to actress Karen Lewis since 1984. They have two sons, Tom and Will. Charlotte is an actress, and has two children. He publicly endorsed the Labour Party in the 2005 general election. Despite his opposition to the Iraq War, Attenborough collected Picasso ceramics from the 1950s. More than 100 items went on display at the New Walk Museum and Art Gallery in Leicester in 2007, in an exhibition dedicated to family members lost in the tsunami. In 2008, he published an informal autobiography entitled Entirely Up to You, Darling, in association with his colleague Diana Hawkins. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Illness and Death. In August 2008, Attenborough entered hospital with heart problems and was fitted with a pacemaker. In December 2008, he suffered a fall at his home after a stroke and was admitted to St George's Hospital, Tooting, southwest London. In November 2009, Attenborough, in what he called a house clearance, Sale, sold part of his extensive art collection, which included works by L. S. Lowry, Christopher R. W. Nevinson, and Graham Sutherland, generating £4.6 million at Sotheby's. In January 2011, he sold his robotic estate on the Scottish Isle of Bute for £1.48 million. In May 2011, David Attenborough said his brother had been confined to a wheelchair since his stroke in 2008, but was still capable of holding a conversation. He added that he won't be making any more films. In June 2012, shortly before her 90th birthday, Sheila Sim entered the professional actor's retirement home Denville Hall, for which she and Attenborough had helped raise funds. In October 2012, it was announced that Attenborough was putting the family home, Old Friars, with its attached offices, Beaver Lodge, which come complete with a sound-proofed cinema in the garden, on the market for £11.5 million. His brother David stated, he and his wife both loved the house, but they now need full-time care. It simply isn't practical to keep the house on anymore. In December 2012, in light of his deteriorating health, Attenborough moved into the same nursing home in London to be with his wife, as confirmed by their son Michael. Attenborough died on the 24th of August 2014, five days before his 91st birthday. He requested that his ashes be interred in a vault at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Richmond beside those of his daughter Jane Holland and his granddaughter, Lucy, both of whom had died in the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami. He was survived by his wife of 69 years, their two children, six grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, and his younger brother David. His widow, actress Sheila Sim, died on 19 January 2016, aged 93. Honours and styles British state honours In the 1967 Birthday Honours, he was appointed a Commander of the Order of the British Empire CBE. He was made a Knight Bachelor in the 1976 New Year Honours, having the honour conferred on 10 February 1976 and on 30 July 1993 he was created a life peer as Baron Attenborough, of Richmond-upon-Thames in the London Borough of Richmond-upon-Thames, although the appointment by John Major was non-political it was granted for services to the cinema and he could have been a crossbencher, Attenborough chose to take the Labour whip and so sat on the Labour benches. In 1992 he had been offered a peerage by Neil Kinnock, then leader of the Labour Party, but refused it as he felt unable to commit himself to the time necessary to do what was required of him in the upper chamber, as he always put film making first. <laughs> <laughs> Styles of address 1923–1967, Mr. Richard Attenborough 
1967 to 1976, Mr. Richard Attenborough. 1976 to 1993, Sir Richard Attenborough. 1993 to 2014, the Right Honourable, the Lord Attenborough. Topic: Other honours. Attenborough was the subject of This Is Your Life in December 1962 when he was surprised by Eamon Andrews at the Savoy Hotel, during a dinner held to commemorate the tenth anniversary of the Agatha Christie play The Mousetrap, in which he had been an original cast member. In 1983, Attenborough was awarded the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian award, and the Martin Luther King Jr. Nonviolence Peace Prize by the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolent Social Change. He was also awarded France's Most Distinguished Award, the Legion d'Honneur and the Oliver Tombo Award by the South African government for his contribution to the struggle against apartheid. In 1993, Attenborough was appointed a Fellow of King's College London. On 13 July 2006, Attenborough, along with his brother David, were awarded the titles of Distinguished Honorary Fellows of the University of Leicester, in recognition of a record of continuing distinguished service to the university. On 20 November 2008, Attenborough was awarded an honorary doctorate of drama from the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama (RSAMD) in Glasgow. Attenborough was an honorary fellow of Bangor University for his contributions to filmmaking. Pinewood Studios paid tribute to his body of work by naming a purpose-built film and television stage after him. The Richard Attenborough stage has an area of 30,000 square feet. In his absence because of illness, Lord Putnam and Pinewood Chairman Lord Grade officially unveiled the stage on the 23rd of April 2012. The Arts for India Charity Committee honored Attenborough posthumously on the 19th of October 2016 at an event hosted at the home of BAFTA. Topic: Corporate appointments, Actors Charitable Trust. Chairman 1956 to 88, President 1988 to 2014, Equity. Council member 1949 to 73 Royal Theatrical Fund Board of Directors Vice President 1985 to 2014 Muscular Dystrophy Campaign Vice President 1962 to 71 President 1971 to 2004 Life President 2004 to 2014 Cinema and Television Benevolent Fund Council member 1962 to 2003, vice patron 2003 to 2014, King George V Fund for Actors. Committee member 1962 to 73, trustee 1973 to 2014, Royal Academy of Dramatic Art RADA. Member of Council 1963 to 73, chairman 1973 to 2003, president 2003 to 2014, Combined Theatrical Charities Appeals Council. Chairman 1964 to 88, President 1988 to 2014, Royal Society of Arts, Life Fellow 1965, Chelsea Football Club, Vice President 1966, Director 1969 to 82, Life Vice President 1993 to 2008, Life President 2008 to 2014, Cinematograph Films Council Member 1967 to 73, Gardner Center for the Arts, University of Sussex. Patron 1969 to 90, President 1990 to 2014, National Film and Television School, Governor 1970 to 81, President 1977 to 2014, University of Sussex, Pro Chancellor 1970 to 98, Chancellor 1998 to 2008, BAFTA, Vice President 1971 to 94, Chairman of David Lean BAFTA Foundation Trustees 1972 to 2002. President 2002 to 2014 Capital Radio. Chairman 1972 to 92, Life President 1992 to 2014 The Little Theatre, Leicester. Patron 1973 to 92, Honorary Life President 1992 to 2014 The Young Vic Theatre Company. Director 1974 to 84, Help a London Child. Founder and Life Patron 1998 to 2014, Tate Gallery. Trustee 1976 to 82 and 1994 to 96, Waterford Kamschlaba School, Swaziland. Chairman UK Trustees 1976 to 2004, Member Governing Council 1987, President 2004 to 2014, Duke of York's Theatre. Chairman 1979-92 Channel 4 Television Corporation. 
Deputy Chairman 1980 86, Chairman 1986 92, Board of Governors of the British Film Institute. Chairman 1981 92, Goldcrest Films and Television. Chairman 1982 87, Kingsley Hall Community Centre, Mahatma Gandhi lodged there in 1931. Patron 1982 2014, Committee of Enquiry into the Arts and Disabled People, reporting on access and inclusion. Chairman 1983-85 The Gandhi Foundation. President 1983-2014 Brighton Festival. President 1984-85 British Film Year. President 1984-86 British Screen Advisory Council. Chairman 1987-96, Honorary President 1996-2014 UNICEF. Goodwill Ambassador 1987-2014 European Script Fund. Chairman 1988 to 96, Honorary President 1996 to 2014, Orange Tree Theatre, Richmond, London. Patron with Lady Attenborough 1988 to 2014, Arts for Health. President 1989 to 2014, European Film Academy. Co-founder with Ingmar Bergman, Federico Fellini, and Claude Chabrol 1989, Richard Attenborough Centre for Disability and the Arts, University of Leicester. Patron 1990-2014 Foundation for Sport and the Arts. Trustee 1991-2003, President 2003-2014 Chicken Shed Theatre Company. Honorary Patron 1992-2014 One World Action. Patron 1992-2014 Satyajit Ray Foundation. Patron 1995-2014 Oxford University, Cameron Mackintosh Visiting Professor of Contemporary Theatre. 1996 Sussex Centre for German Jewish Studies. Patron 1996-2014 United World Colleges. Member of the International Board 1996-2000, International Patron 2000-2014 Amnesty International. Patron 1997-2014 Mousetrap Theatre Projects. Trustee 1997 2014. The Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Fund. Trustee 1998. UK Film Council. Government Advisor 1999 2014. Sir John Gielgud Charitable Trust. Trustee 2001 2014. Themba HIV AIDS Project in South Africa. Patron 2002 2014. Unicorn Theatre. Patron 2002-2014 Mandela Statue Fund. Chairman 2003-2007 St. Edward's Oxford North Wall Arts Centre. Patron and Steering Committee Member 2005-2014 Click Sergeant. Ambassador 2006-2014 Greater London Fund for the Blind. Vice President 2006-2014 the Richard Attenborough Regional Film Critics Award. Patron 2007-2014 Attenborough also headed a committee awarding the Attenborough Prize, a £2,000 annual arts prize celebrating creativity by emerging artists. Filmography <inaudible> 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 Portrayals In early 1973, he was portrayed as Dickie Attenborough in the British Showbiz Awards sketch late in the third series of Monty Python's Flying Circus. Attenborough is portrayed by Eric Idle as effusive and simpering. A portrayal similar to that seen in Monty Python can be seen in the early series of Spitting Image, when Attenborough's caricature would regularly appear to thank others for an imagery award. In 2012 Attenborough was portrayed by Simon Callow in the BBC4 biopic The Best Possible Taste, about Kenny Everett. Styles Richard Attenborough, ESQ, 1923–1967 Richard Attenborough, CBE, 1967–1976 Sir Richard Attenborough, CBE, 1976 to 1993. The Right Honourable, the Lord Attenborough, CBE, 1993 to 2014. 
Topic See also List of oldest Best Director Academy Award winners